I'm Neoma Lakin from Breckenridge, Minnesota. And I am a storyteller, and I have a tale to spin. It's about the Red River of the North, and the people are on, and they're in. So I ask you to listen to my story and the history it spews forth about the waters of a very special river, the Red River of the North. The headwaters of the Red River of the North is located in Breckenridge, Wilkin County, Minnesota, United States of America. The Otter Tail River snakes its way through the city from east to west and converges with the sluggish Bois de Sioux River, which comes from the south. And the mingling of their waters creates the Red River of the North. At this site, the Red begins its unique northward flow to its mouth in Lake Winnipeg in the province of Manitoba in the nation of Canada and joins its family of waters. When the waters keep flowing, they go to Hudson's Bay in Canada, and then the river has finally come home. As the Red River follows a very sinuous course to the north, to the international boundary between the United States and Canada, known to us as the 49th parallel, it forms the dividing line between Minnesota and North Dakota, and between Breckenridge and its sister city of Wapaton, Richland County, North Dakota, United States of America. From the Treaty of Paris in 1763 to 1849, when Minnesota became a territory, the drainage basin of the Red River of the North, along with the Mississippi River, were the two most important boundary lines of the ever-changing political subdivision that we today call the state of Minnesota. The Red River is the longest north-flowing river in North America. It runs a course of approximately 550 miles. The course is extremely crooked for most of its length, with many loops, oxbows, bends, and side channels. And then the channel often doubles back on its course, and it follows a considerable distance without gain at all in general direction of the flow. <clears throat> there are several theories as to the naming of the Red River. One is that the river took its name from the red willows that grow along the banks. Another, because waters run red following the flooding stages from vegetation in the river. However, the theory I personally like best comes from the Chippewa Indian Nation. They say that another world lives underneath the Red River. And they had many, many people that lived there. And their warriors died in battle. They fought many brave battles. And they died, and that caused the river to run red. The French people call it the Rouge River. Early traders used the Red River for transportation of furs and supplies. Later, steamboats, flatboats, and barges hauled goods and settlers to northern destinations, both in Minnesota, United States, and into the country of Canada. By the way, I am speaking to you from the bottom of a lake. Yes, that is correct. This is the bottom of the former glacial lake Agassiz, which covered this region thousands of years ago. The Red River of the North is a remnant of the glacial lake, along with upper and lower Red Lakes in Minnesota, Lake of the Woods, which is shared between Minnesota and Canada, and then the glacial lakes in Canada of Winnipeg, Winnipegoshish, Manitoba, and Nipigon. The Red River has a fascinating history. 
It just thrills me each time I read an episode of it. As we know, history happens every day. We are currently living a new vision for the Red River of the North. We think you will enjoy the new vision, which is dedicated to recreation, just as you will enjoy the old vision of commercial trade. In any event, we invite you to find out. <laughs>